teaching you how to use the quotient or division rule for exponents. So keep in mind that an exponent tells the base how many times to be used as a factor. So my exponent of 4 tells 7 to be used as a factor 4 times. So we're going to use that idea when we are working through these first two examples, just so you can see how the rule works. So 3 to the 4th power is 3 used as a factor 4 times. Remember that a fraction bar is a division sign, so we're going to divide that by 3, and that's 3 to the first power. Okay, so I'm just going to write, write 1, 3 there. All right, now we're looking for common factors in the numerator and denominator that we can cancel out. So I can cancel out a 3 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator. We're left with 3 to the third power. Again, we could bypass all of this expanded form if we just use the, the quotient rule, which says to subtract the exponents. So 3 to the 4 minus 1 would be 3 to the 3rd. Okay, let's do the same thing with our um, problem that has coefficients. So we're going to write that out as 10x to the 5th. That's 10 times x used as a factor 5 times. Divided by 5x to the 3rd is 5 times x used as a factor 3 times. Let's cancel out those common factors. Let's start with the x's, okay? So we have one x here we can cancel out, another one, we have a third one that we can cancel out. The 10 and the 5, 10 divided by 5, we're going to divide them both by 5, we get 2, and then we get 1 in the denominator. So let's go through now and write down everything that we have left. We have 2 times x squared, right, because there's two x's. All right, now we could, again, we could bypass this expanded form, but this shows us why we do what we do. So the 10 and the 5, 10 divided by 5 would give you 2. And then we could keep the x and subtract 5 minus 3 to give us 2x squared. All right, so the rules are to divide or simplify the coefficients, keep the base, subtract the exponents. Again, if you don't have coefficients, you don't have to do step one. All right, let's try some more examples. So 6 to the 5th divided by 6 to the negative 4. We're going to keep the base. We are going to do 5 minus negative 4. Remember those integer rules. That's going to be 6 to the 5 plus 4, which is 6 to the 9th. Next one is 6, x to the 6th divided by x squared. That's going to be x to the 6 minus 2, which is x to the 4th. Okay, next example, we've got some coefficients in there. 12 divided by 3 is 4. We are going to subtract the exponents. That's negative 3 minus negative 5. Okay, that's going to be 4 x to the negative 3 plus 5, which is going to give us 4x squared. You might have to brush up on those integer rules just a little bit in this, these examples. All right, when we got two different bases, keep the bases separate. So we're going to only subtract the exponents on the x first, 8x to the 8 minus 3. And then to subtract the exponents on the y's, that's 6 minus negative 1. All right, let's clean that up. That's going to be x to the 5th times y to the 6th plus one is y to the seventh.